Okay, so if you're wondering whether the uh, investment in the new Mac Pro 2019 is really worth it, you're in the right place. I'm going to do a comparison between the Mac Pro 2013 machine and the new Mac Pro 2019. So I'm Darren Mostyn, I'm a colorist, and what I've done is create a project in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to run the same project on a 2013 machine and then on a 2019 machine and compare the actual results. So before we start, let's just have a look at the specs. The Mac Pro 2013 machine is an 8-core, 3 gigahertz machine, 32 gig of RAM, and the graphics card in there is the dual AMD D700, so that's 6 gigabytes of VRAM on each channel. The Mac Pro 2019 is a 16-core, 3.2 gigahertz machine with 96 gigabytes of RAM, and one of the dual Vega 2 graphics cards, so that's 32 gigabytes on each channel there. Uh, also has the Apple Afterburner card installed. Uh, to keep the comparison true, we're going to connect both machines to the same RAID and both machines will be running on Resolve 16.2.2. We've got a series of clips here. Our master timeline is set to Ultra HD resolution. And the first few clips on the timeline, this is a one minute timeline by the way, it's exactly one minute long. The first few clips are taken from a TV commercial we graded. This is 4K Canon RAW footage. Here we've got a HD shot. So this is 1920 by 1080 ProRes 422HQ shot. And what I've done is I've made a duplicate of the shot, 16 layers, and I've done an individual grade on each layer. The next three shots are from a corporate uh, shoot that we worked on. Uh, this again is C200 4K. A regular kind of grade going on here. So we've got a bit of keying. We've got some OFX going on. There's a color space transform here, as you can see. Uh, the next shot is a GoPro. So that's quite a good little test as well. And in here, what I did is I've taken the grade and I've actually added some stuff in Fusion just to really push the, uh, the processing power. And the final clip on here is a B-RAW. It's a Blackmagic 4.6K film clip uh, in RAW. But let's go and render this out. First thing I'm going to do is delete the render cache just to check that there's nothing pre-rendered in there. And we're going to render it out as a ProRes Quad 4 Ultra HD file. So this is the Mac Pro 2013 in UHD. Add to the render queue and let's do it. So there's the job done. That's completed in 2 minutes 56 seconds. So it's a 1 minute clip rendered in 2 minutes 56 seconds. So here we are on the 2019 Mac Pro. We've got the same project loaded. Just to make sure, I'm going to go to the cache and delete all the cache to make sure that nothing is pre-rendered. So that's deleted. And the other thing I want to do is just check that we're on uh, our metal settings. So if we go to the preferences up here, system memory, and just check that your graphics card. So we've got the Radeon Pro Vega 2 Duo it's set to metal, and the second channel is also set to metal. This is going to give us the optimum performance. So let's take a look at the render speeds. So that rendered out in 40 seconds. So on the 2013 machine, that rendered in 2 minutes 56. On the 2019 machine, that is a staggering 40 seconds. That really is a huge speed difference. That's incredible. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. It'd be good to hear from you. And uh, let me know if you have any specific tests that you want me to do. I will try my best to accommodate that. Uh, hit subscribe. This is a new channel. I'm trying to build it up so that I can give you lots of tips and tricks for DaVinci Resolve. I have a Facebook page which you can check out, which is Killer Tips DaVinci Resolve, full of little useful tips for Resolve users. Thanks for watching. I'm Darren Mostyn. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next video.